Hi everyone, this is Kim again. Andre, what will this tutorial be about? We'll show figure symbols with a very simple first example. Okay. These colorful buttons select the type of figure symbol. Let's start with a base symbol. A short parameter length gets you a very tight loop. Not much is happening yet, because there is no harmony parameter present. I will pick one from a template. And now the symbol follows the current bass note of each harmonic context. Let's add another phrase and keep the current sound for now. I will now add a very simple figure segment using the horizontal symbol type. And again, a short loop saves us a lot of drawing. These extremely simple figures already create something that remotely resembles music, don't they? Er, uh, not yet. But go on. Now for some very simple chords. The line tool is great for drawing chords. This is still pretty stiff and bland, but it will get more interesting soon. Now for a basic melody. I'm using vertical symbols here, but you can also use horizontal symbols as well. The freehand tool takes some practice to get used to, because it automatically snaps your gesture to the grid. How come you're so slow today? Andre, let me do my job. All instruments using the same sound gets indistinguishable pretty fast. Let's look for better sounds now. Depending on what instruments you have installed on your computer, your rack library will look much different from mine. When you move an item from the sidebar to a track, it will create a new rack module for the arrangement. When the sound wizard pops up, it helps you set up a sound for the instrument. Really? Yes. Uh, 
er, uh, no sound preview? No, this is about figure symbols. Okay. The wrench icon opens the sound wizard, where you can browse all available sounds. We'll show this in another tutorial in more detail. Yes, we will. Oof, are you sure? Yes. Sounds a lot better already. What's a song without drums? I will pick a pattern from a library here. I wonder, do you know how to dance? You didn't answer my question. No, I'll forgive you this harassment at the workplace. I should try a different harmony now. That's more to my liking. We are getting closer. Good. Now let's find some more interesting chords. Yet another harmony? Nah. Chord phrases. This green chain icon links the phrase preview to the current container and instrument. So you can hear the phrase like it will actually sound in the song. At this point you start tweaking little things to improve the overall texture. This is where the creative chaos begins to unfold. It is unpredictable and fun. Try different phrases, different loop lengths, different harmony. Everything can be replaced. Every step might lead you down a different path. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful?
Thank you for watching. Thank you, Kim.